Hello everyone and welcome to, uh, well, this is my thoughts video on the, uh, new song by Wiz Khalifa, Ty Dolla Sign, Lil Yachty, and Swick of the Child, uh, Speed Me Up for the Sonic 2020 movie. Uh, and I only knew that name because I'm looking right at it right now. <laughs> I just finished watching the music video again, just so that way I can kind of, uh, gather my thoughts on what's going on with this, um, anything I want to talk about, so, uh... Yeah, the song. I don't think it's very good. What a very weak theme song. I mean, I get the Sonic's all about speed, but what was that? The instrumentals behind it. It just seemed like it needed a bit more... Something that just sounded a bit... That had a bit more punch to it, a bit more oomph to it, that um, I feel like would better represent Sonic rather than just this very weak beat that it has going on behind the lyrics. Um, I'm not exactly someone who can dissect music and talk about it in great detail, but um, as someone who just casually listens to music, that's the best I can say. It's it's a very weak instrumental, though it doesn't sound half bad, I just don't think that it would fit something like Sonic the Hedgehog, but uh, that's my opinion. Um, as for the lyrics, oh my gosh. Um, talk about all over the place. Uh, they just seem like some generic, bland lyrics that every now and then will tie into something that's related to Sonic or hinting at Sonic without any way of actually tying into something to what Sonic is. It just seems more like generic compliments about the artists themselves, though that's not exactly what I'm trying to say. It's, I'm not, it, it's what it sounds like to me, and I, I even had to go and look up the lyrics to it, and... <laughs> These lyrics are pretty damn weak, so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description, so if you want to go and read it yourself. I will say that Wiz Khalifa probably was the best on this entire track. Not exactly a fan of any of the individuals who worked on this, but I will, I will give credit where it's due. That's not exactly saying much when everyone was just kind of mediocre on it, but then again, uh, musical preference is subjective. You know, don't exactly take my words as fact, you know, always take it with a grain of salt. Not the whole salt shaker. Um, and I was going to go on this whole thing about like trashing on mumble rap and whatever genre this is because it doesn't even sound like rap. Because I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm so distant from modern music that I just... I've, I've never really taken into consideration what it actually sounds like anymore. But if you want generic insult about how rappers are now and how they used to be, there's another link in the description. Uh, I will give you a bit of a warning. It's got some strong language in it. <laughs> they say the heck word. Anyways, that's not my point. The point is, is that the lyrics seem to be a little, a little weak. They don't exactly uh, define Sonic as a character. It's more of just generic lyrics about how cool I am, or how this I am, or how successful I am, or whatever it was. The stuff that's just, it's just flexing for the sake of flexing. It's not even unique flexing. It's just like some generic lyrics that anyone could come up with. So there, I said it. As for the music video, this is the one I wanted to talk about, <laughs> because, oh my god, um, I will say this, uh, there are some parts that do look okay, like the beginning where, uh, playing a Genesis, you know, with the Genesis controller has, you know, Sonic 1 in the cartridge, but then it's just, like, it, it doesn't look bad, you know, just isolated room, stuff like that, you've seen it every, every now and then. Uh, what's interesting is that the sprite animation, one, looks like absolute garbage, not because, well, I mean, not only because it looks bad, but also because it's inconsistent when you look at it, it just doesn't look right at all. And every now and then they'll switch to this weird scanline effect, and when you zoom in with that scanline effect, it doesn't look good. Um, I, I will say that it is interesting that it does seem to be recreating scenes from the movie, so you might even see something in there that you haven't seen in like any kind of released media yet, which We've been seeing more and more of recently, which is very, very concerning or interesting, depending on how you see it. Because some people believe that uh, they're showing too much of the movie. Anyways, I'm not going to really care about that. That's not my. That's not the discussion we're having here. It's just I've seen that a few sprite artists have been pissed that um, there has been a lack of consistency with these with the new assets that they use for the sprites and stuff when they go into like the 2d stuff to kind of look like sonic they don't come close i mean you see like a bunch of references here see references to blue spheres to the half pipe you don't see any to the sonic one special stages so uh shame no i'm fine with it 
Um, you also see, you do see some Sonic 1 references, like there is an actual uh, Spring Yard Zone background uh, behind one of the artists. Uh, so that's an interesting thing to see. So there is a lot of Sonic references, not just to the movie, because a lot of the sprite-based animations that you see during the video directly references what happens in the movie but you also see references to like older games such as well you have the sonic one cartridge in the sega genesis you have the sonic two uh half pipe special stages the blue spheres uh spring yard zones background uh when ty dollar signs behind uh, in front of it like when he shows up on screen that's when it shows that off um so there is a lot to this music video i just wish it was it just looked better when it comes to the sprite animation for the 3d effects and stuff that's fine. I'm not exactly annoyed by it or anything. Um, I, I think what annoyed me the most was just when they added the, the fake scan line because it goes from looking like that to looking like, oh, it just doesn't look good. <laughs> like when you take the, the fake scan line off, which it's not even consistent through the whole thing. Like sometimes you'll have them where it kind of looks halfway decent and then the other ones where it's just like, hey, let's just scan line every, uh, like every two lines or three, I don't know. I, I'm not exactly, I can't really explain how scan lines work because even I don't know too much about it. Uh, let's just say that there were some parts where I'm sure as hell it didn't look like that on a CRT. <laughs> as for the whole thing, it's, uh, well, it could have been better. And uh, if I wanted to say one last thing about the music video, Sonic games are not four players unless it's Mania Plus. Just letting you know on that one. Oh, and also uh, Sonic Shuffle, so. <laughs> the image of the visual of them all holding a tr controller is like, okay, which are the other three who are too dumb to realize that this is uh, Sonic's mostly a one-player game? <laughs> I don't know. That was just like a thought I had in the back of my head when I was uh, watching the ending of that video. Um, I'm not a fan of this. I, I'm sure somebody will think that it's good. Somebody was like, it, it slaps or it's a bop or whatever you want to say. I'm just like, no, it's not good. Um... We really could have had something better, but again, whatever. It's not going to change how I feel about the movie. It's not going to change whether or not I'm excited for the movie. I'm still... Eh, eh, it's alright. I'll probably go see it, more than likely. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go see it. You know, it's not going to make me say, Oh, well, this song sucks. I'm not going to go watch the movie for that, because that's just immature. Who gives a crap? Aside from probably some of you judging my musical tastes, uh... <laughs> I, I just feel like we should have something better, you know? So, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think about Speed Me Up in the comment section down below. Uh, there will be a link so you can listen to it. I know I didn't play any of it in this video, but uh, I, it's just better if I don't. I really don't want to. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content I produce, join the Nux Club by subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for new content. And at this time, I want to give a shout out to the members of Nux Club Plus. Their names are on screen right now. And if you want to consider joining and becoming a member, you can find out how to do so with the join button down below. And any and all who are currently channel members, thank you very much. Your extra support is greatly appreciated. You guys are all awesome. You can also check out my second channel, Super Frank Plays, where I do Let's Plays of games that aren't really Sonic. It's other games. And you can also check out my Twitch TV page where I tend to stream every now and then. I want to try and be more consistent with that, but we'll get to that point when it comes. And with that said, follow me on social media, and, and I will catch you in the next video. And let's be honest, I think there's one song that really should have taken the place as the theme for the Sonic movie. Take care.